Have you ever thought to yourself, man, I would weight lift more if it was more convenient, like if it was at my home. Well, guess what? After this video, you'll have no more excuses. I don't know, dude. You might need like 30, 40 machines like they have at the gym because Jeff Nippard just came out with a lifting science video about how front lateral raises don't really hit your delta at uh, more than a D level. So I don't know. Uh, we got to talk about it, Andrew. Uh, I am encouraging people to have a home gym. You know why? Because over the past year, I've spent time at 24-hour fitness, LA fitness, hotel gyms, apartment gyms, lifetime fitness, Equinox, and I just realized that lifting at home is probably the easiest solution to not lifting at all. Wow. Hey guys, listen, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. This is coming from a complete beginner. Andrew, can you attest to this? I did not lift more than a year and a half ago ever in my entire life you lifted a hundred to more times than me i would say david refused to lift weights for many many years of his life and only recently have you even really taken it with any sort of seriousness but you know why that's why the information coming from me is going to be so good to you guys because like i said all the other experts out there they loved lifting their whole lives they've had a lot of discipline take it from a lazy person who didn't know anything andrew here's my list of nine reasons why lifting at home is probably the best for most people point number one andrew you don't have to wait for equipment how many times do you go to the gym and the piece of equipment you want to use somebody's hogging it mm -hmm. because there's a few pieces of equipment that are essentially the most popular, incline, incline bench press. Number two, it's already racked with the exact weight that you want. Mm -hmm. Number three, you can watch whatever shows or listen to whatever you want out loud versus using headphones. You won't miss any workouts if you do, because a lot of people are like, ah, oh, it was raining, it was snowing, you know, I couldn't make it to the gym. That's a lot of work. And Andrew, a lot of modern workout equipment is very small and cheap and actually great for your average person. Wow. So basically, a lot of stuff at the gym is actually built for Olympic standards. But most people, Andrew, we're not Olympians or elite athletes. You might want the small micro beginner version. And guess what? That's most of the stuff for at-home equipment mm -hmm. is the beginner version. Um, not only that, the average person, Andrew, you are going to respond better to lifting a lower volume every single day than a higher volume of like two hours, two times a week. Right, so you're saying, and we're going to go into what makes a cheap and affordable home gym, right? But you're essentially saying that if you can just get reps in at home between while you're cooking in your air fryer or when you're watching TV, Netflix, or YouTube. 10, 15 minutes here or there. Yeah, if you can just get that in maybe twice a day and lift and get some reps in, that's going to be better for you overall than trying to get these crazy heavy lift days in where you're dead afterwards. And you're like, oh, I just lifted for two hours. Yes, yes, yes. A lot of people go through gym cycles that are not sustainable because they're lifting to failure. They're killing themselves. Like you said, two 15-minute lift sessions while you're waiting for something in the air fryer six days a week. That's three hours time under tension. Your muscles do not know if you're in a gym or you're in your living room watching a YouTube video. Your muscles have no idea. And point number six, Andrew, um, I'm not a big person into like what they call nerd lifting or science-based optimal lifting, you know? And I just think that for, even though it, it is real science and it works for your average beginner person, which is like 85% of people out there, they don't ever need to know all the hyper granular details, but a lot of people get caught up in the details. By the way, guys, there are entire channels dedicated to home gym equipment. Just like Andrew, there's entire channels dedicated to basketball sneaker reviews, Andrew, and some of the basketball reviewers are not even good at basketball. Anyway, let me get into my product recommendations, guys. Like I said, I think here's the key. You, you, you have like low, middle, high, right? So those are your different tiers of price point of anything right? Low, middle, high. But the thing is, you kind of got to pick your equipment that speaks to you. For example, Andrew, I know you're more of a calisthenics guy. You might want to get somehow get a, a home pull-up bar. Mm -hmm. And guess what, Andrew? They've got these new grips that just came out that allow you to do neutral grip versus, you know what I'm talking about, like the pull-ups with the wide grip. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that that's really useful. There's people just doing, getting buff using really expensive resistance bands mm -hmm. because guess what? Muscle resistance is muscle resistance. Anyway, here is the exact setup that I have right now. Andrew, we have this weight bench right here. It's pretty long. That means you can rest your head on it. That's pretty important. We have core fitness dumbbells. They only go up to 50 each, but for a lot of people, 
that are beginners, you're not going to need more than 50s. Right. Realistically, because you could just increase your amount of sets that you're doing or increase the amount of reps. You don't really need like 100 pound dumbbells in your home. That's more like pro gym equipment. And we have this J Flex converter bar that turns those core fitness dumbbells into an easy curl bar, straight bar slash bar that we, we can squat with or lunge with. That's it. That's all we have. Now, this is kind of expensive, but there are cheaper versions. So literally, between having the J-Flex converter bar and then you have the core fitness dumbbells, you can squat, you can lunge for your legs, you can do any sort of like uh, bicep, arms, tricep stuff, but you can actually bench with it as well mm. and get hit all your chest as Yo, well. Yo, being able to hit chest, pretty important. I feel like shoulder exercises are pretty easy, but yeah, I feel like when it comes to... Uh, chest, it pretty much, if you don't have weights, you can only do push-ups. That's pretty right. much, maybe weighted push-ups. Maybe you put on a backpack and you start doing some push-ups. Yeah, and I think that a lot of people, it depends. Like, for example, some people are cool doing 100, 200 push-ups in a day. Other people really, really do not want to do that. Um, so here's the level one, Andrew, of home equipment that everybody should probably get. Adjustable dumbbells. Adjustable dumbbells, it prevents all the, you know, needing to have a gigantic rack of different sizes, right? I'm not a fan of having a whole bunch of dumbbells at home, especially if you don't have a lot of space. That is crazy to me. All right, Andrew, kettlebells. People love kettlebells. However, here's the thing, Andrew. They're, they're a little bit complicated to learn the movements of. Yeah, it definitely takes training or else you're going to hurt yourself. Um, so, yeah, start low with the kettlebells. But I do know the people who do kettlebells, they love the kettlebells. If you were in prison with one thing to get super ripped, it probably would be a kettlebell. I guess so. Like yeah. two kettlebells. And you could do like the gorilla grips and all types of stuff. Adjustable flat bench. Just get a bench, you know, because it just gives you, you know, you could do decline sit-ups. You can do incline press at that point. Level two, Andrew. Just get the easy curl bar. Andrew, you know I was talking earlier about everybody's got to like pick their thing that makes them enjoy working out. For me... It's an easy curl bar. If there's no easy curl bar, I don't even want to lift. Whoa. No, and I'm saying that a lot of lifting is like you just want to enjoy to do it. It's not even about like a straight bar versus easy curl bar versus like a rackable one versus a really mini four foot one. It's just about whichever one you want to use. It doesn't matter which equipment is considered the best by a professional standard you watching this video if you're watching fung bros for fitness advice you're not a professional most 90 percent well, you're of not you, even an amateur you're not even no 90 percent of you don't even take it that seriously so you really just want the tools that help you do it and help you enjoy it and make you want to do it. That's all. It doesn't matter yeah, whether what that's dumbbells, or, kettlebells, curl bar. It don't matter what the Olympians are doing. It doesn't matter what Sam Silik is doing. It doesn't matter. It matters what makes you want to do it. You know what's the best helmet? The helmet? No, what kind what type of helmet is the best helmet? What? It's the helmet that you wear. Yeah, God, because no, if but, you got a whack helmet and you don't want to put it on because it looks stupid, then guess what? You essentially don't have a helmet. Because I think that that's what a lot of people do. A lot of people are like, oh my gosh, I got to research what is the best helmet. Well, guess what? That helmet doesn't feel comfortable on your head. It does, you don't feel cool when you wear it. You're not even going to do it. And the most important part is actually just doing it. Hey, man, who's the, who's the hottest girl? Who's the hottest woman in the world, man? Well, it doesn't matter. The hottest woman is the one that wants you back. That's true. Yeah. No, it's true because for your actual life. Yeah. <laughs> but a lot of people on the internet are debating who's the hottest girl and it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you should worry about who is in your sphere of influence. Yes. Um, A lot of people at home, they probably want to get a large yoga mat or foam tiles if they're going to lift a lot, a lot. Mm. Realistically. Um, also, you can get like rubber weights and stuff like that if you really are like, ah, no, nah, at least a carpet. Um, Andrew. The, a lot of this stuff is made, you know, nowadays it's, it just came out cheap mini benches. There are foldable mini benches that you can have in your house where the bar is only three to three and a half feet wide. Obviously, uh, an Olympic bench is almost four feet wide. So this is stuff that is designed to like fold up in your home. But guess what? For most people, like 
three feet wide is all they need. Even 31 inches is enough. Like, yeah, I get it. If it's not wide enough, it doesn't like hit your chest enough. But listen, I'm talking about at home equipment that allows you to just get it done quick. Um, now, of course, once you move up the um, home equipment, you know, out of the several hundred dollar range, you're in the thousand dollar range. You've got these home Smith machines for like twelve hundred dollars. Um, moving on. This is more expensive home gym equipment, Andrew. Weight stack machines. Now, are you a fan of weight stack machines? Yes or no? Uh, because it is really easy to change the weights because literally it's a pin that you pull, obviously. Oh, oh, the universals. Um, yeah, but they're super big and cumbersome, so and they're expensive. So I, I, I obviously, like, I sometimes use them at the gym, but I think at this point, I actually like calisthenics and, like, non-super heavy dumbbell stuff. Right. Um, I think that uh, a lot of people who are looking at multifunction full weight stack weight equipment, it's like if you're like an older couple, if a man and a woman needs to be able to share it, because obviously just pulling a pin in and out to like shift weights is way easier than shifting weights. Mm -hmm. Like it's not even close. Like that's by far the easiest one. But yes, like you said, it is very expensive and you better have an entire house or a giant garage to fit one of these full stack weight machines in there. Um, moving on, Andrew, of course, we're moving on to like the full on gym, gym equipment that you have to like, um, like, basically take a screwdriver and put into your wall. Right, right, right. Let us know if you guys own any of this stuff at home. Yeah, and I think that a lot of this stuff became really popular during Ovid because mm -hmm. a lot of people could not go to the gym, so they wanted to build like almost like a bodybuilding gym in their garage. Yeah. And um, yeah, as, take a look, Andrew. You've got anywhere from a $1,000 squat rack that you put in your garage to ones that are like $5,000. I found some on Amazon that were up to like 30000 Whoa. So I'm saying there's like some incredibly expensive equipment online, but you just got to find the level that works for you. And like I said, for us, we don't even have a yoga mat. We don't even have foam tiles. We literally have core fitness dumbbells and an easy curl bar converter and a bench, and that's it. Right. But I will say that if I wanted to move up the, um, I guess the advancement chain, I would get some of these like squat or bench racks that I saw on Amazon right quick. And some of them are only like $100. Some of them are very highly rated at $150. And basically what I want to let people know is that there's people in prison, Andrew, getting more ripped than you off literally just doing push-ups and pull-ups. Mm -hmm. So why is everybody so obsessed running these channels, Andrew, selling like $5,000, $10,000 gym equipment? Right. So it's like... It, it, I wanted to compare it to like the sneaker review channels because I watch a lot of gym equipment reviews and I also watch a lot of sneaker reviews, but I've started to a lot less because I realized at the end of the day, when you go to the gym and you find like most of the best players, they are not thinking about their sneakers that much. Mm -hmm. They generally get a LeBron or a GT Cut 3, something expensive, and then they just go to work. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like the same thing as it is with like gym equipment, you can get caught up in uh, not only nerd lifting, which is like, you know, hitting your front lateral delt like a certain way by like sitting a certain way on the cable machine and you can get caught up in what's the best equipment. But at the end of the day, there's somebody at the park with literally a pull-up bar getting buffer than you. Right. So it goes kind of goes to show you that, you know, you could use the 30 machines and especially if you want to become a pro bodybuilder, that's probably part of it. But at the end of the day, it's really about the basics and just getting it done. Just yeah. like with basketball, it's not about the sneakers. It's about, can you really play the game or not? So, your final three recommendations for a person who wants to get ripped at home, doesn't have a lot of money, doesn't have a lot of space, David. What are your exact three recommendations? Just get... You could even go on Craigslist. You could go on Facebook Marketplace. Just get a foldable bench press bench. Okay, not even a big one, just not, a small one. An easy curl bar... Okay. With some weights, because you got to get the weight plates, and then maybe a yoga mat. Wow. That's it. That's it. That's all you need, and you could get ripped off that. For me, like I said, it's sort of like an MMORPG. Everybody's got to pick their weapon. You know, Wukong, he picks the staff. You know, other people, they pick a sword. Other people, they pick an axe. Whatever it is, it, it might not be the easy curl bar for you, but for me, that is what I found ultimately works Get, like you said 15 minutes a day twice a day that's 30 minutes a day over six days a week that's three hours of tut 
time under tension, you're going to get ripped. I'm not saying you're going to get jacked like a bodybuilder or like Jeff Nippard or all these other guys that are influencers, but I'm saying you will be have more muscle than 75, 80% of the even the gym goers. All right, everybody, let us know what your gym equipment is at home. Was this helpful? Hit that like button. Leave a comment. Say a super thanks if you if all these fitness videos are helpful to you. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.